Ivanka Trump is shutting down her namesake fashion line. In a statement yesterday, she said, quote, my focus for the foreseeable future will be the work I'm doing here in Washington. But the brand has been facing controversy and financial pressure. Bianca Goladriga is here with some of the unanswered questions. Bianca, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Ivanka Trump says she doesn't know when or if she'll ever return to the business. While she claims that her decision is the only fair outcome for her team and her partners, some are questioning why she's chosen to take this action now. And you can see we have everything. Ivanka Trump's decision to shut down her 11-year-old company came without warning Tuesday. It doesn't seem like her employees were really told of it more than really within the last few days. And it's also surprising because she's been pushing ahead in some respects internationally. Her brand's gotten a lot of trademarks in China. Ivanka's fashion line focused on mid-priced women's clothing, shoes, and accessories. She had already given up day-to-day -day management of the company, as she told Gail King last year. What have you done with your business? I have no involvement with any of it. And I felt like proximity to my father and to the White House. I didn't want to also be running a business, so I put it into trust. Still, Nordstrom and other retailers have dropped or scaled back on Ivanka's products, citing declining sales, prompting the president to tweet, my daughter Ivanka has been treated so unfairly by Nordstrom. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway also promoted Ivanka's sales, sparking ethics complaints. Go seconds. buy Ivanka's stuff is what I would tell. I'm going to go get some. I hate shopping. I'm going to go get some on myself today. Because Ivanka's company is private, it's unclear how profits have been impacted since her father became president. Online sales reportedly fell 55 percent in the 12 months ending in June. We're sort of relying on the fact that they've told us consistently that she's been profitable. She hasn't been hurt by the White House. So we can accept her explanation, but it also seems like there could have been a lot of other factors that perhaps played a role behind the scenes. Abrams tells us the company's 18 employees are expected to be leaving in the next few weeks. It's unclear what sort of severance they'll receive, but we do know, according to Ivanka Trump's financial disclosure filings, that she earned more than $5 million from the trust last year. So what's key is what she does next, because mm -hmm. she says she doesn't even know if she's going to go back to uh, the industry, back to creating her own company, or maybe politics are in her future. Who knows? Thanks, Beyonce.